So, well, the first question that I've been asked to look at is whether books should have age ratings. And it, it's a tricky question because a lot of teachers have argued for years that books should have an age rating, partly because when children choose books, they're not always discerning in, in, in what they choose. But personally, I, I don't think it's a good idea at all, but partly because I don't think it helps to, to place an age range on, on a book. Um, children develop at different times um, um, and have different interests. But also, as soon as you place an age on a book, that stops other children um, reading it, particularly children who are struggling with reading. So sometimes you want children to be reading subject matter, which they can understand, but actually it's quite a complex subject matter um, done in easier language. So just placing the age range on, on, on the books, I I'm not sure is helpful. Also, it depends who's doing the rating. A governmental side, I suppose, um, um, you know, look, looking at uh, what, what is appropriate. There's an um, education side of, of ministry looking at what's appropriate. There's teachers, there's parents, there's children themselves. There's lots of people with different interests. And, and there's very different ways of looking at what is appropriate in a book from the sort of extreme libertarian view of what everything goes, which clearly is not always appropriate for the young, for young children. But also there's the extreme disciplinarian position of, of nothing goes. I, we, we are going to choose what is appropriate for you. And of course, as soon as children realise that they're being restricted, they go for something um, that they shouldn't be, be going for. So I, th I think on balance for myself, I'm not sure it's helpful. Though, though actually publishers do this anyway. So if you read the, the blurb on the back of a book, it'll often say for, for young fiction, what sort of age that they expect. Um, for very young children, I would hope and I really hope that there will be some appropriate re adult reading with, with the child because that's the best way for children to look, to, both to learn to read but also to learn to encounter difficult you know, and potentially controversial topics which are difficult to raise with children, sort of sex, sexuality, drugs, mental health, all, all those sort of issues. It's much better if a child encounters those through a book read with an appropriate adult. And at what point do we stop controlling what, what kids read? Well, obviously when children are very young, um, by default we're choosing what, what they read. I mean, it, it's, you know, either we buy the books for, for our, our children or it's, uh, it's someone buying them that, that, that we know. So that automatically uh, is a filter um, in, in, in there. But as children go to school, parents lose control of the filter. It, 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 it's... it's um, it, partly in the control of, of the school, but also the school li librarian. But, of course, that, it, again, is, is a natural filter. The you know, schools will only want to buy what they consider appropriate and consider to be reasonably good um, literature. Though I must say, I think some parents are often surprised, particularly at the teenage level, what is actually in a book for, for adolescents. Some of them are incredibly hard-hitting. The, the subject matter is graphic in terms of, of violence sometimes, of sexuality and other um, fairly taboo subjects and I think the writers who are, who are taking on those subjects do so with a great deal of, of morality a great deal of, of thought about what young children you know, should be encountering for the most part I mean you know, there are exceptions to that I think some of the, the fairly gratuitous violence you encounter in some of the teenage fiction I'm, I'm not sure it helps particularly but, but, but children you know, do have a way of judging for, for themselves, I, I, I think so. But it may be a good example of, of the problem with with us controlling. There's a, there's a great book for very young children um, written by an author, Babette Cole, and it's called um, uh, Mummy Laid an Egg. And the premise of the, of the child's book is that the parents are trying to tell the younger children that, that they're going to have a newcomer in their family, and they do the sort of stalk type uh, approach where they, where they describe the egg being laid and they go through an elaborate charade and eventually the, the two young children sit their parents down and say look parents I think we need to tell you something and then they go through sexuality and, and, and how the child is actually, actually produced and that's, that's I think a lovely way of, of, of playing on the idea of being over controlling because children will experiment, they have the opportunity to, using the internet you know, to get hold of a, a huge range of, of literature which has no filter whatsoever of course and so being able to encounter books in safe environments like schools, libraries, and with appropriate adults, 
I think is is, is the best way of, of, of controlling of them controlling what they read because actually what you really need to be able to do is uh, for children to be able to be discerning to, to work out what what's appropriate and, and they won't do that if, if, if we're not working with them and simply banning them you know won't, won't, won't help at all I don't think and um, in terms of sheltering kids from the reality of, of, of the world well the only way we can do that is to turn off the internet, turn off the television, turn off multimedia. You know, there, there is a massive amount of information, as I said before, not always well presented, but there is a lot of information out there. And I, you know, as a as a lover of English literature, I mean, I used to be an English literature teacher. I still uh, I, I, I train teachers now who are going to be teaching English literature, and I read it myself. I, I you know I would be a strong proponent of of literature being 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 a way to uh, broach difficult subjects in interesting ways in the ways that, that provoke thought but but don't um trivialize the situation and i think that's that's really the most important thing i mean i think you know as, as adults we can have a false picture of these young minds developing but they, they do develop rapidly and and they need to be able to be given that stimulus from a huge array of books when you think about the sort of books that we would be expected to teach as, as teachers of English, you know, we have to teach um, children Shakespeare, and that's great, and I enjoy, enjoy Shakespeare, but if you look at Shakespeare, there's a huge round, a range of sex, sexuality, of violence, of Romeo and Juliet having a very young marriage, and, and so these things will come up in, in literature, and it, you know, probably the book that's taught the most at GCSE in, in England anyway is of mice and men, which, which which is you know again deeply problematic with some of the language that's that's in there, from from a a very good perspective in terms of the author, but you know you you have to work very carefully with some of the racist language in in there, but just not to to address a book like that, that I think would be unhelpful in terms of, of dealing with difficult issues.